video I will show you how to package and ship in Unreal Engine 5 game in about 10 minutes not including compile time and install time. So first you want to go into the App Store and then install Xcode and then you want to run it. You may need to get an Apple account, log in to do that. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to go into the terminal program and then type sudo xcode build hyphen license and press enter and then you will need to enter your password for your uh, account on the Mac and then you basically press space until you reach the bottom of the licensing agreement backspace so you go to the front and then type agree and press enter and this allows you to run xcode now previously you didn't need to do this but now you do okay next you want to go into safari and then go to the unrealengine.com website and once you go to that address you may need to uh, get an account i create an account you can use an epic store uh, you can use google there's lots of ways to log in and then you want to press the download and this will allow you to download the Epix game launcher all right it will take a while to download and afterwards you launch it either from here or from your app menus it will start the Epic Games Launcher uh, it, it will take a while so just wait be patient here you can close the website now because you don't need it anymore finally the dialog appears that shows that it is launching okay now after a while you may need to wait a while it will come up and then what you want to do is you want to go to the library tab on the top right there and there should be a place for you to download. If it's not, you just need to wait. You may need to wait. So just wait until you can download it. It will take a while to install. And then what you want to do next is you just want to launch the uh, Unreal Engine 5 iterator from here. So once you have installed, you can launch it. And then you have another wait where it will do some loading initialization might be compiling shaders okay the next step is once it has run you get to choose a sample project to start with it's a good idea to use one of them if you want to build a game real quick i'm going to use the first person shooter and then you want to click on a c plus plus and then you want to name your projects on the bottom don't create yet create something unique i call this e people first game it could be anything you want and then you press the create now here's the part you need to wait after you press the create it takes a long time you may think the game crashed or the engine crashed you may think something is wrong you might try to restart don't do anything just wait this is the worst part of the, the program is it doesn't have a dialogue telling you to wait so after you wait a while finally the Unreal Engine 5 editor starts and again if you're running it for the first time it may, need, may do some compiling and just wait and then once you are here at this part of the program you can see that this it is running Xcode in the background uh, we can ignore the Xcode part we can do everything in the Unreal Engine 5 editor and if it says your project file is out of date, you want to press the update. Okay, so right now we are in the Unreal 5 Engine Editor. You can press down the right button and move your mouse. You can see that we are in a virtual environment. It's not actually running live, but it's running virtually. And we can make some modifications. Remove one of those blocks there, those blue blocks. Next step we want to do is we want to cook the content after we are satisfied with the game. And this will put all the assets that it needs in, in a form that can be packaged into a program we can run standalone. 
Next, we want to wait for it to finish. Then the next step, you want to go into the uh, platforms and then package project. Now I'm running this on a Mac. Of course, you can choose the platform you want, but I'm using a Mac. You don't want to put it in the same place as the program files are. You want to choose some place else. So I use the desktop so you can easily find it. You want to make sure we can run it outside of the parts where you put the source code. So after that, you wait again. It will take a while and then you'll have a bell when it's done. After you've done this part, you have now made your program that can be shipped. Now this executable, you can place it anywhere on a website, you can place it uh, in an Epic store, you can place it anywhere. Just we're going to run it manually if you want to. And I assure you that you can also see the log while it is compiling. I didn't show it, but that's one way you can do it. And so what we want to do is go back to the desktop and go into Mac, if that's the platform we choose. And there should be a program file for the executable. And here is, you can rename it anything you want, but this game will now run outside of the Unreal editor. So we can close Xcode, we can close Unreal Engine 5 editor, we can close the Epic Launcher manually. And let's run it. So this game is now running all by itself. It does not need the Unreal Engine 5 editor. And you use the WASD to move and then your right mouse button with the left click to shoot and then move the camera. So whenever I have a game I'm playing, I usually try to get out of the bounds out of the map. So I'm going to show a, a way to get out of the map now. Okay, so if we jump on top of this, we should be able to get out of the map down there. Now notice that the sample comes with uh, firing, shooting, and first person mode, and there's also a skybox at the top with the sun. Okay, now let's uh, step off, and we are out of the map. Okay, to quit, what you want to press is the option, command, plus escape, and then press enter twice to manually force the game to quit. Okay, please give video a like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.